Hi guys, this is Danny for the Rock Phone Company. So the Rock Phone Company just sent me this new phone. It's called the Doji. So Doji is a brand, and the model is a DG700, and it's also called the Titan 2. And as you can see, um, it uh, looks like a, a Rock Phone, but it's not 100% uh, Rock. That means that it's waterproofed. It's a uh, IP67, but it's not shockproof. But as it's also uh, weatherproof, dust, dust proof, um, I think it uh, has enough uh, rug feature to test it. So when you look at uh, Duji Titan 2, uh, compared to here, I have the Snowpo M8. So you can see in terms of size that it's uh, much thinner. But in terms of uh, overall size, it's basically the, the same. It's little, little smaller, but not so much. But it still looks very strong, except for this back, which uh, looks not so strong. It's just made of plastic and it's uh, closed by clips. It's uh, not screwed to the back. Uh, the button here are in metal. All this is in metal. So this looks uh, quite strong, same, the other button are in metal. And here we have a small plastic door to access to the USB and to the uh, audio jack. So let's put it back in place to make it waterproof. So on the back you have the camera, you have a big LED flash. Here we have the webcam. And as it says here, so on the side we have a, a smart key where we can uh, just set up some functions. You have the power key and we have the volume adjustment. And here down is the microphone. So let's now review all the apps. So I have installed, as usual, Advanced Task Killer. So it's to see uh, the memory available. So we have uh, 500 megs. So it's a one gig phone. Let's do the Antutu just now. So while the test is running, let's look at the box. So it comes with uh, this kind of box with uh, information on the phone, information here on the model. It comes with a uh, earphone. You have the USB cable with a charger here and depending your location you will get the European, the UK or the US uh, adapter here. You got uh, a film protection and a user manual dedicated, not generic, really dedicated to the phone because it has uh, quite a lot of function as we will see in the test. Also we got uh, a USB host. It's because you can uh, of course plug a USB uh, dongle but also it's, uh, it has a power bank function that means that you can recharge other phone with a Duji. So it's a quite interesting function, especially if you are outdoor, knowing that the Duji has a quite big battery. So it's almost done. While it's running, let's uh, continue to look at the phone. So as I say, the back is not really, really strong. So for me, it does not comply with the outdoor requirements. But the rest of the phone is quite uh, strong, especially when we look at the case. So the frame here is in metal, and it's a quite uh, heavy metal. Even the, the buttons are also in, uh, in metal, it's not plastic. Just the side is in plastic. And uh, the screw here on the back are all fake and the weakest part of the phone I think it's uh, 
this small add-on here that doesn't seem very strong. Besides this, all seems very good. So it's called 19,500. So it's uh, better than uh, most of the rock phone we have tested. Let's here look at the details. So the 3D graphic is uh, 3,500. So for the info we have uh, Duji, Titan 2, uh, DG700, so it runs under Android 4.4.2 and it has a uh, new um, MK, MTK, so MediaTek MT6582 with a Mali 400 GPU and it's a QHD screen, 540 times 960 pixels. It's a 8 megabit uh, camera and it's a 4 core CPU run at uh, 1.3 GHz. So the display is 240 uh, dpi, it's a multi touch uh, 5 points. Front camera is uh, 5 megapixel. NFC is not supported, Wi Fi, and we have few sensors so we have acceleration, light, and proximity. And we don't have any uh, outdoor sensor like temperature, pressure, and so on. So here we have the three Android uh, buttons also. It's a sensitive uh, buttons. So what do we have? We have uh, app lock. So it allow you to lock any app you want. Uh, let's try. So I show you. We put a code for zero. We confirm the password. Yeah, and you can just lock any app you want. So when you land your smartphone with somebody, you're with a friend. If you don't want them to look at your photo, you just lock photo or you just lock uh, email. It's quite interesting function. So you have the calculator, you have the calendar, you have the camera. And for the camera, so you have here the 8 megapixels. You have the clock, you have document to go which is a, a compatible uh, uh, office, uh, Excel and PowerPoint suite, downloads, email, file manager. So on the 8 uh, gigabit, you still have 4.71 gigabit free for your apps. You have the radio, you have the gallery, you have the Gmail, the Go keyboard, so it enhances the keyboard, the Google keyboard. Google, Google settings, uh, GPS data. So let's test now the, the GPS function. So as you can see, it catches uh, the satellite. And uh, here it took uh, three seconds to get the catch. And uh, let's look at the screen now. We are outside. So uh, it's actually very bright. It's very very bright, so it's good to uh, to go outdoor. So GPS works fine, and the tests are done with no SIM card, no Wi-Fi. So it's really the GPS ship that we test. Messaging, so engineering mode. So let's see what kind of network does it get. So it get. Four bands for GSM and four bands for 3G, so it got the 800, 850, 1900, and 2000. So check with your uh, cellular mobile operator to see if it's compatible. And for the second one, it's just GSM, no data works, but it's four band also.
So you got music, you got a notebook, you got one key lock. You got the phone book, you done no the address book, sorry, the phones. So let's put back here the Wi-Fi. So as you can see if you do that, you have some function. If you take two fingers, you got additional functions. So you got the real Google Play Store where you can download apps, games, movies, music, books and uh, yeah, it's, it's fast. Okay, settings. So it has a hot knock function so when you have uh, two uh, devices that has a hot knot function, you can uh, transfer uh, data, photos. So you have the visitor mode. So again, you have a code and it blocks some access. You have the gesture motion. So you can uh, answer by just, for example, turning the phone. So it has uh, multiple functions, as you can see. Oops. So the three-point screenshot. Uh, how does it work? Yeah. It takes a, a screenshot. So let's look at the app. So available, you still have 1.3 gig. So it's uh, it's quite a lot. So you will be able to put a lot of apps in this uh, phone. You have a, a power saving mode. Smart button, so actually this is a button, so you can allocate any app here to this button and you have a double press and long press, so you can have two functions with one button. And let's see the languages. So this one, as it's one of the latest version of Android, it comes with a lot, a lot of languages. Even some I never heard about. So, SIM toolkit, sound recorder, to do, a torch, it's quite strong, it's a, it's a strong flash. Videos, voice search, Wi-Fi analyzer. So let's see what's the quality of the reception here. So we got uh, 71. 71 here is on the good side, so because uh, average for us is uh, 74, now 70. And the router is uh, not located on the same floor, it's on a, another floor. So it's quite far. And YouTube. So it's quite strong, the, the sound is strong and it's clear. Okay, we have reviewed all the apps here. So 
before I finish the test, I propose to open the phone so you can see how it is inside. So to open it, we have here with a nail. Okay. So it has a, a lot of clips. Okay, interesting here. So there is a rubber, some rubber here. I think it's for the water tightness. So there is this piece of rubber. And it gives a uh, water tightness and uh, IP67 label to the phone. So what do we have here? Um, we have uh, a normal SIM here and a micro SIM. And here we have the, the place for the micro SD memory card. And the battery is 3.7 volt and it's uh, 4000 milliamps per hour so it's a it's quite strong battery i think the the autonomy of the phone should be very good so i think it uh, it passed the test not as a, a fully rug phone because it's uh, not shot proof so 2g uh, doesn't mention anything about uh, shot proof but as I say, it's uh, IP67, uh, it's uh, dirt resistance and it's dust resistance and it uh, operates under uh, very uh, hot weather and cold weather. So let's say it's, uh, it's rugged enough and um, for me it's uh, beside this back that I, I really don't like. But beside this, I really like the phone, I like it because it has a uh, a lot of function, it feels also very strong, it's a strong phone, it's not too big, it's not small either because when you look at the iPhone 5, so you can see that it's, uh, it's much larger, it has also a larger screen, it's a little bit more thick. So I hope you enjoy the review and uh, we'll see you soon with uh, other rock phone test uh, from the Rug Phone Company.